What's going on everybody? Sniper336 coming to you here with a War and Order video. So, you guys might be wondering, what's been happening to the Clash of Kings videos? Well, here's, here, let me tell you why. Um, there hasn't been any Clash of Kings videos. Um, I had uninstalled Clash of Kings probably three, four weeks ago, and, and really had just stopped playing it like three or four weeks ago. But originally, I had honestly just gotten tired of Prestige 5s. Prestige 5s and Prestige Castles had honestly just ruined the game for me. With the buffs and everything that the Prestige Castles get versus a level 30, whenever you got level 30 in T10s, it's it's honestly stupid. There's a Prestige 5 that can honestly just wreck a whole alliance of level 30s, 26s, and, and just do so much damage, and yet you can't sit there and do anything. All besides try to rally it and hopefully don't lose 300,000 troops or 100,000 troops in the whole march. So, I honestly just quit the game because the game's trash, guys. There's no point in playing it anymore for me. Just because the game has gotten so bad, I've there's no point in playing it. It's, it's honestly gotten trash. And with the way it's really seeming, Clash of Kings doesn't care about their gamers anymore. They don't. They just want the, they're in it for the money. As Bozy, Bozy Bows and Daydreams always continuously say, for one, Daydreams is always continuously saying that, look, they, they don't care. They're not listening. Yet they continuously to add stuff and more stuff just for bigger players to even get. It's just to make it not fair. Spenders honestly have the biggest advantage in that game. And that's what Clash of Kings wants, is they want the money for it. They don't care about the people that don't spend. They care about the people that do spend, because that, that way they're making money. That's the way most game creators are. Um, the reason I switched to War and Order is because this game has been around for almost a year. Um, this game, you have to use teamwork to even destroy big alliances there has to be teamwork involved and there's no just one single man that can do it on their own and that's the one thing that i enjoy about this game is for one the people are a lot more friendly um even though they might have the level 30 through 35 castle i don't think that'll have the biggest impact i don't think that it'll have the crazy buffs that the prestige 1 through prestige 5 did in clash of kings now, I could be totally wrong, but just by looking at it, I don't think it's going to be any of anything of a big issue. And if it becomes a big issue, then I'll quit this game too. But for now, I'm honestly enjoying the game. So if you guys would like to see more War and Order videos here on the channel, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave down in the comment section below that you'd want to see more War and Order. That way I know to start being able to do more attacks and teaching you guys a little bit more about War and Order than what I probably already know already. So, as I said before, um, this game may be like Clash of Kings, but it's a totally different game, guys. And I think it's honestly going to be really beneficial. And instead of me having to sit under a bubble 24-7 in Kings, I can come to this game and I can really feel like I can play without having to lose everything. Um, in Clash of Kings also, I had actually been hit by a Prestige 5. I lost 700,000 troops and had like 250,000 wounded. That's honestly why I quit, just because I didn't, I wasn't going to try to heal all those back. I mean, yeah, people say over and over, oh, well, that's plenty of troops to gather and stuff like that. Well, the only thing that really pissed me off was that I had lost all my swordsmen and my cavalry. That was m the majority of my losses, and I lost a lot of archers too. It was more of archers and sage. So I didn't have any frontline troops to be able to do anything. They were all dead. So I wasn't going to try to sit for the next two or three months to be able to even get enough troops to be able to use in a, in a couple of marches just to fight. And there was no point in it. And that's why I'd quit, guys. So, as I said before, if you guys want to see more War and Order videos, leave a like 
and comment down below and let me know what you guys would like to see as in War and Order and I'll see if I can start making more videos for you guys. Um, if you guys are also wanting to try to join us, uh, we're in Realm 317, um, Alliance ICE. Uh, leader is uh, LS Larry. Uh, contact him or me if you want to get in the alliance and you're just starting off but you have a lot of experience in playing. Let me know and I'll see if I can get you guys in here. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.